So hey everyone, here's how to use the Factual Noise Effect to make smoke in Premiere Pro, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is search for the Factual Noise Effect. The one underneath Immersive Video called VR Factual Noise, just drag that onto your clip. The next thing we're going to do is change the settings, so untick the Auto VR properties, change the Horizontal Field of View to 200, Vertical Field of View should be 100, and you want to click on the Invert box. Then scroll all the way down and change the Blending Mode to Multiply. Open up the Sub Settings by clicking on the arrow next to it, and change the sub influence to 40. However, this can be changed depending on your preference. So if you do want a softer smoke effect, then you can decrease the value. So for example, 25, you can see it looks very soft, but if you want it to look sharper, then set it to something higher like 75 and it will look like this. The settings we are going to change are brightness. So this basically is like the opacity, you could say, even though there is a setting for opacity down here, but we're just gonna mess with the brightness instead. I find it to be much better, especially if you want to make something like a reveal transition so if it started with let's say negative 60 and then gradually went up to something like 15 that's how you could make a reveal transition which the opacity setting would not allow the evolution is basically how much it changes over time so you can see i'm increasing and decreasing the value and the smoke is changing or should i say evolving over time so i'm going to animate this by using keyframes later on and to make it move what you want to do is open up the transform settings here you're going to see some settings for the x y and z axes for some reason the X axis doesn't really work well you can see it kind of rotates instead of moving up and down but with the Y axis you can see that it moves left and right it doesn't rotate like the X axis which is perfect so for this example I'm going to be keyframing the Y axis to make it move left also you do have an option to scale this in or out so if I was to double it let's say I change it to 17 the smoke now looks a bit bigger than before but something like 2 would completely fill up the screen 8 is fine for now so now let's animate the keyframe starting with the brightness so head over to the start of your clip and just hit the stopwatch you can set it to whatever you like i'm going to do negative 50 then head all the way to the end just one keyframe back and set it to 25 open up the graph by clicking on the arrow and what you can do is simply just right click on the second keyframe and click on ease in if you want to be a little bit more advanced then you can pull this handle to the left making sure it's on level not too high or too low just on level like that resulting in a very smooth curve so now that's done we're going to move on to the evolution keyframe at the start head towards the end one keyframe back I think I'm going to use 400. I did try and use it. It looks a bit odd. If it does turn out looking weird, then I can always change it. But for now, I'm just going to quickly graph this. And if I play it back, it looks pretty decent. You can see that it moves a little too quick. So I might just decrease the value a little, maybe set it to something like 300. I think it looks fine for now, but we're not going to know until we actually make it move. So now we're going to keyframe the pan Y axis. Click on our stopwatch towards the end, one keyframe back. And I'm going to pull this to the left because I want it to move left. Also because the wind in the clip is blowing left. So I want the fog to move left. Let's try negative 100, just see how that looks. So I'm just going to graph that. Not bad at all. That looks pretty good, but it's not really moving as much. And I think that's because of the evolution. So I'm going to turn it back up to 4. 400 still isn't moving as much maybe 600 will do let's try that 600 i might have to turn down the brightness at the beginning because you can see it's visible in this corner let's try a negative 75 that looks pretty good i like it but let's try another transition so instead of negative 75 at the beginning let's do 25 and then 50 at the end and then i'll just fix up the graph because you can see it's a little bit wonky remember that if this is the case you can always zoom in and then just fix it up the keyframes aren't very noticeable so maybe i'll set it to zero at the beginning that turned out looking better i'm also going to turn down the complexity over here to something like let's say two and that basically makes it more soft so that's six and then this is how two looks like i can make the smoke a little bit slower so if i head towards the end for the y-axis and set it to negative 50 instead of negative 100 you can see it moves much slower than before and it actually looks much better but anyways that's all for this video so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace